hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of a brand new roguelike titled Anvil Vault Breakers and this is a game that I have covered in the past. The developers have graced me with a demo copy which I was streaming earlier on Twitch and now I wanted to do a first impressions video and I have to say just right off the bat I want to start by saying this. Fun factor. Forget everything else. Fun factor, it's a nine out of 10. Just right off the bat, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna look through this little starting area. We're gonna sh look at some gameplay, some skills. And by the end of this video, you should have a good idea about what Anvil is all about. The game is also dropping in 2021. So it's right around the corner. You won't have to wait very long. All right, when you log into Anvil, the first thing you start, I'm mean, obviously what you see is your breaker and you have four different areas. So let's go to each area, starting with the different breakers and the breakers are just your character. So you've got the machine gunner, shotgunner, homing projectile shooter, rockets, melee with an ax, melee with a hammer, melee with fists, kind of tank, Flamethrower, kind of a unique class, Flamethrower. Elsa, the only character that has a minion. Uzi, twin machine guns. Suri, got your Gatling gun. And then this last character, I've actually never played this one. It uses explosive plasma modules, whatever that means. Now, the first four, offensive. The next four, defensive and then the last four strategy now the anvil devs have already said if you want to play a strategy player solo it's possible but not recommended okay this is a game that i would say is going to be a lot more fun with multiplayer that doesn't mean single player is bad at all okay and you will see that when we are playing so for this demo we're just going to take the machine gunner the jungler okay just for this demo and on here also the demo copy they gave me we got some skins so we could change we this is what the base looks like you got the blue we'll go blue okay we're gonna go blue you saw the green we're not gonna look like master chief anymore we're gonna go blue all right so we'll change the way our character looks and bam just like that, we're now blue instead of green. And visuals look pretty good. Like, they look pretty good. Now I will say, every single character is very, very, very different. Now the only thing that kind of ties them together is obviously like these ones use all guns. These ones use all melee weapons, right? And the strategy ones all feel pretty darn different. But for the most part, something I really like is the variety of character selection. Right, and we are gonna stick with the one that we already have. By the way, just little note too, I like that in the settings, right off the bat, you can change the cursor color. See that? I kept it orange, but it's actually hard to see. I recommend purple. Okay, so here's our breaker. Now we can go to our toy worker. Our toy worker is a little follower that gives us a boost in something. So you've got the Gun Hound, which is weapon damage. Power Hound, which is skill damage. Critical Soldier, which is critical strike. Big Castle, which is HP and defense. Little Fly, which is movement and survivability. Dr. Gray, my favorite, basically just heals you every five seconds. And then Gold Rich collects gold for you and gives you more resources. And again, we're just gonna stick with the basic, the Gun Hound. All right. Then you've got your upgrades on here. There's different seasons. As you play the game, you unlock different things on, I guess, kind of like, I don't, you know, your battle pass, and then you can upgrade your character. And it's very minimal. Like this is the only part of the game that's rogue light instead of rogue like, because this will carry on after you die. And then last but not least to help you, you have your data, which breaks down all the relics in the game all the weapons in the game and all the skills in the game. So if you're trying to master a certain character, 
you can go through here and see everything. Sounds complicated, very basic. Okay, so start of the game, this is where you start. If you die, this is where you come back to. We've selected our breaker, we've got our little toy worker, and we are ready to fight. Now, what skills do we have? Left click, basic machine gun, 70 rounds, and after 70, reload. R is reload. Okay, left click. This is like a little, it like pushes all enemies back and it has a reset or a timer before we can get it. Q, which is our big skill, basically like rockets in the air. E, mines, and then space bar is a little dash, or a little dash to get out of the way, okay? Now, I didn't mention it, but this isn't like Last Epoch Diablo style point and click. This is WASD. So when you see the controller settings, You've got keyboard and mouse, actually. Let's go controller guide. You've got keyboard and mouse, very basic. And then you've got controller. This game will be very good on a controller. Obviously, I like keyboard and mouse, but if you want to use a controller, it functions just like the Ascent. Okay. All right, I've talked enough. You've seen it, you get it. Let's check out some combat now. When you're searching for a relic, okay, or you're coming in here, I've unlocked, I haven't beaten the second one yet. Again, I only started playing it today, but we're just gonna go into the first one. So on here, you can have a maximum of two players for multiplayer. On the second one, maximum of three, and I'm guessing on the fourth one, it's gonna be a maximum of four. But why you don't know that yet, because I haven't made it that far. This game is pretty darn hard. Okay, so we're going in. We gotta complete one, two, three, four, and five to get to the next one. And again, at the beginning, it's gonna be pretty easy. Let's go. Stop hitting me. Drop some mines. That worked well. A little bit of health. And now we got the yellow or the blue circle around us. That means we have finished this part. Okay. Now every time you finish one of these little parts of the level, you get a vault. Come up here, and now we're starting to upgrade our character. Increase weapon power for 10 seconds when used. Bullet slash explosive mine. Increase skill power by 300% or speed, recover 5% max HP on use. I'm gonna take survivability. And we're reloading and we are moving on to the next sector. I think we will play until we hit the first boss. All right, time and get me. I was streaming this all morning on Twitch. I streamed it for three hours. It was fun. There was a lot of people with a lot of questions. We've got the blue circle. It means we're ready to go to the next area, but first we've got to check our little vault. All right. So these are our coins up here that you get from killing enemies. And then obviously you use them to upgrade. Increase attack power by 25% when remaining ammo is above 50%. Keep our ammo high and we'll do more damage. All right, we'll take that. And let's go teleport me. I, almost I you don't come here. You're going to get in my mind. Told you. You got to be like, you got to, it's like Halo. You got to strafe, you know? So as you kill, you'll have, you'll have, Weapons drop. This is a striker shotgun. We don't want that. We use machine guns. The levels of weapons are blue, pink, and gold. All right, so that one's done. We are now on to this. Increase skill power. 50% uh, skill power increase. Reduces skill cooldown by two seconds when a skill hits an enemy target. Uh, all right. Take that, take that, reload, and we're off. Always blow up the little 
barrels. Got monies in there. Reload. Stronger enemies are on the way. Come on, get our turret up. Huh? Reload. You didn't know I can do that skill, did you? All right, let's see. We got anything good in here? 330 max hit point or max life, critical strike damage, attack power. Let's get some more life, and we're on to the next section. So if you come across this, this is a little helper. See? Only hitting tab. All right, another section done. Let's check out our little vault, and you just continue to level your character. One additional dash and teleport use, 30% max guard to increase. Recover 2% hit points every five seconds. Uh, ooh, increase. We want both of these. Take that, increase weapon power. And we have no monies. Reload. That's okay. Hostile presence. Oh, why do you keep doing that? That missile skill is right next is Q, and tap pulls up your relics. Take that. Come and get me. that it? Done. Okay. So that's it. We have officially finished the first planet. I guess, yeah, I guess it's kind of the first planet. And if you do that five times, you move on to the second one. But now we got to fight a boss. Let's save our money and move on to the next one. You'll see. Okay, so we're moving on to two. We got to fight a boss. Before you fight a boss, you get a skill increase. You go to this thing. Reduces cooldown. Increase weapon power by 50%. Bullet slash. Increase damage to burn targets. Okay. Let me go over here. Ooh. Standard rifle. We don't have enough! Ah. So this is a gold, so if I had the money, if I had 300 coins, I could have bought this gold standard rifle. Can't do it. The other two options, sniper rifle, that's fine. We'll take the sniper rifle, okay? We'll take you. Now we shoot differently. All right, boss time. Let's do it. Oh, we got the mammoth. I probably should have kept my machine gun, that was dumb. Well, it shoots. I mean, it hits hard. And we can stay far away, which is nice. Mine. Actually, this sniper rifle does ridiculous damage. Oh, dude, he almost killed us. Exploration failed. The boss took us out. I didn't say I was good at the game. I just started playing it today. Damn. So, acquired relics shows us what we unlocked. Skill upgrades that we took. 
I'm now level eight in my vault points. And then you are taken to a familiar place because again, this is a rogue like. And boom, back at the beginning. Now, since we hit level eight, we can now come over here, go to upgrades and bam, our weapon power has been increased, okay? Then you could say, all right, I'm ready for the next run. I don't want this person. I want my favorite, which is lightning. And boom, now we got lightning. And then we would jump into another run. Lightning is a whole bunch of fun. Yeah, that's Vault Breakers. And again, fun factor, nine out of 10. This is a difficult game, but I think it's really gonna shine with multiplayer. Being able to strategize and play with friends. Pretty simple, right? One offense, one defense, one strategy character, play together. I think that's gonna be the best way to play Anvil. But I wanna know your opinion. That's it, first impressions. You saw all the little things you can do, you saw combat, you even saw a boss fight with me dying. I don't care, I'm gonna leave that in the video. I'm not ashamed, shows that the game is hard, but I wanna know your opinion. Is this something you want to play? Is this something you see yourself getting? Or is it nowhere and this game looks like trash? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure you've heard by now, and I mentioned it in the video, that I have officially started a Twitch, streaming on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, having so much fun with the ARPG community, and today I gave away a free copy of Anvil. So, if you want to be a part of it, if you want to chat, if you want to check out all these new games, first link in the description below if you'd like to go there and support me on Twitch. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over 1,200 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. And by the way, every Saturday moving forward is now community night. Saturday night is now community night on my Discord. Every Monday, we put up a survey on YouTube and a survey survey on, on Discord. And whatever the community decides is the game we play. So you could vote right now. Okay, that's all I got. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.